today we will discuss about shallow water effects. First, let's see what is shallow waters. Any water depth which is less than one and half times of the ship's draft is called shallow waters. Due to effect of shallow waters, the maneuverability of ship is severely affected. When a vessel is navigating in shallow waters, less water passes under the ship and more water passes along the hull of the ship. This changes the dynamical forces acting along the ship, therefore making it difficult to steer the vessel. Thus the vessel should be on hand steering rather than autopilot in shallow waters. This is because there is less amount of water passing under the keel and more water passing along the hull, making the lateral resistance of water higher which in turn leads to difficulty in turning the ship. In shallow waters, the turning circle of a ship increases. As a ship turns in shallow water, the water cannot pass easily under the keel. This is because of the increase in the lateral resistance on hull aft of the pivot point, also known as turning lever. As you can see, when a vessel makes a headway, the pivot point shifts aft thereby the turning lever is reduced. This shift of pivot point is due to the lateral resistance on hull as more water is passing along the hull. Therefore, a combination of reduction in turning lever and lateral resistance decreases the drift angle. For those who do not know about drift angle, it is simply the angle between fore and aft line and tangent to the turning circle. As you can see the drift angle in the case of shallow water is greater than deep water, it has been noticed that the size of turning circle in shallow water can be three times the size of turning circle in deep water. When a ship turns in shallow water, the resistance of water which was initially from right ahead now shifts to the bow facing opposite to the turn. The area of resistance also increases Therefore, the speed decreases. The reduction of speed is directly proportional to drift angle, that is, higher the drift angle, greater the reduction in speed. When a ship is moving through shallow water, the vessel leaves a void space behind the vessel, which cannot be filled up easily. To fill up this void, the water stream flows from behind, therefore, there will not be enough water for gripping the propeller when a stern moment is given. Thus the stern moment is less effective due to which the stopping distance increases. As the hull moves through shallow water, the water which the ship displaces is not easily replaced and the propeller and rudder walking together creates a partial vacuum underside. As we know, a ship floats because the net forces on it is zero. Since there is a drop in pressure underside, this force is compensated by the sinkage of the vessel downwards and this is called squat. We can determine if the vessel will get squat by head, bodily or stern, depending on where the effective low pressure is located. 